This is lesson four, seven, part two. In this second half, we will talk about the discriminant and what it tells us about solutions. So here's our quadratic formula again. The discriminant is just this part of the quadratic formula. So you're not calculating the whole thing when you do the discriminant. You're just calculating the answer to b squared minus 4ac. Once you know the answer to b squared minus 4ac, which is the discriminant, that number is the discriminant, if the discriminant is positive, that means you're going to get two real solutions. If the discriminant equals zero, there will be only one real solution. And if the discriminant is negative, there will be no real solutions. So let's take a look at the problems we solved in the last video. In this first problem, our discriminant was 33. 33 is a positive number, and we got two solutions. In our second problem, we got a discriminant of 0. Since the discriminant was 0, we should only get one solution, and we did. We just got negative 3. So let's try a couple other examples. In this first example, we have a equal to negative 2, b is negative 3, and c is 5. So calculating the discriminant, which is only b squared minus 4ac, we have negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 5. So negative 3 squared is 9, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5 is 32, and two negatives will make that plus. 9 plus 32 is 41. Since this is a positive number, that tells us there will be two real solutions. In our next example, uh, A is 2, B is negative 3, C is 7. So plugging into the formula, we have negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 7. So negative 3 squared is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 9 minus 56 is negative 47. Since this came out to be a negative number, what this means is we will get no real solutions. We will find out in the next lesson that we will get solutions, they just won't be real. So that'll be interesting. And we'll leave the last example for later.